What is up guys, Squishy here, and I want to have a little talk about the recent anti-snowball change that occurred in the recent patch. So as you know, there was a patch a couple days ago which gave us these lovely patch notes which are a little vague, and probably for good reason. So yesterday on Reddit, Sia Steve posted this image similar to what you can see here, except not against bots and against real people, where one team has a huge XP advantage over the other, but there's only a very, very small level difference. And many people have been encountering the same thing, including myself, and so I decided to step into a bot game and see what's up. So the first thing that I thought they might have changed was the XP granted by a hero. And thanks to Caffeine who posted this lovely chart on Reddit a little while ago, and because the tooltips still show how much XP you get from an enemy hero kill, I have compared them with the correct column in the chart, and it seems that the XP values for hero kill have not changed depending on your relative value. So I will post a link to this chart in the description below. Thanks to Caffeine for putting this out there, it really really helped a lot. Well, where is this extra source of XP coming from then? Well, it's coming passively. Just by being in the game, you are getting experience. This happened pre-patch as well, except it was a very, very minuscule amount. So check out my team here. My bot team is amazing, we've got the curse, we're four levels up. Most of the enemy team is not in the lane. They're dead, or in base. And take a look at the enemy's XP bar. Every second, take a look at the clock. Every second that goes up, the XP bar of the enemy ticks up. You can clearly see it. Just every single time. What does that mean exactly? Well, every second that you're up, by three levels or more, the enemy's passive regen gets boosted. You can very, very easily see it at four levels or above, as you can see now. At three levels, it's not nearly as noticeable, but that's, where, that's why it is almost impossible to hold a three level lead on an enemy team. Because no matter what you do, because if you do nothing, your passive regen is still minuscule, but the enemies is greatly boosted. You can go for hero kills, but they're not worth much because you have this giant lead. The only source of XP that is not diminished is forts, and those are very, very hard to take sometimes. Alright, let's look at one more clear example to illustrate the point here. So, my team is going to win here very, very shortly. We've aced them. All five members of the enemy's team are dead. Look at the XP bar. Less than half. But what's that? The XP bar is still increasing. Every single enemy member of the team is dead. And they got roughly, I'd say an eighth. Maybe even up to a sixth of a level just by being down three levels? That doesn't make too much sense to me. Well, where do we go from here? Well, I'm making this video to raise awareness about this issue and why I think it has a very, very negative effect on the game. I hope that by making this video, I can prove to you that I think the passive regen is a little nutty and that there are other ways to reduce snowballing other than giving the enemy team free XP. The enemy team should have to work to come back, not just sit around and stall. They should have to fight for tributes, they should have to get a pick and take the Dragon Knight, and then take down some enemy forts to catch back up. This just seems like a cheap way out. Maybe it's a band-aid fix, but hopefully, hopefully we can see some kind of change in the future very, very shortly, because right now, the games are going to go long run. I mean, if one team gets level 20, the other team is going to be right behind them on their heels. And that's not so fun because, well, you should be winning by a huge margin, but you're not. Well, I hope I convinced you that this change is probably not for the best of the game. But if you have any opinions, let me know. Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you got, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.